I'm pretty excited to try all things Romanian. Then we can go to Obor. There's actually loads of different sections in here. I don't know what to get. We're getting food, we're getting clothes. There's the pork crackling, right? Oh, so this is aged in a cow's <laughs> stomach. Okay. <laughs> How cool is this place? That is the best Mitch I've had. Cheers, everybody. Narok with Narok. Mitch. Narok. Narok. Good morning, guys, from a beautiful, sunny Bucharest in Romania. Now, if you haven't watched our videos, we have just been on an eight day road trip with our friends Vlad and Georgiana from Romanian Thrills. We got back to Bucharest late last night and we checked in to our hotel, the Moxie Hotel. And this morning we've just been getting some essential things done um, as today is actually our last full day in Bucharest. And we are actually heading to a very popular and massive food market today and guess who we're meeting guess who yes we are going to be meeting back up with vlad and georgiana as they're going to take us to this crazy market and i'm pretty excited to try all things romanian look who it is again we were never going to spend our last day in romania without these guys were we? being that it is our last day in Romania we're doing a little bit of a, a small tour of Bucharest let's say we're heading to Obor market which is the biggest market in the city amazing fresh food so we're going to try some foods out but before that we're both leaving each other me and, me and Vlad they're having a boys day me and Georgiana are having a girls day so me and Vlad are getting a haircut you're getting your nails done it's a pamper sesh and then we can go to Obor this is where we say goodbye this is it you know good luck we might take the car though. We'll take the car. Yeah. We're driving Have off. fun. We're gonna leave you. We're gonna be like new men when we see you in a bit. So me and <laughs> me and Georgiana are off to get our nails done and she's actually thinking which way we're we going left, right? Right. She's actually thinking outrageously that she wants to get what colour did you say? Metal silver? Yeah, so she's gonna have tin fall on her fingers while I'm still undecided. We should be really be getting matching, but I feel like seeing as the sun is shining, I wanna get a bright pinky corally colour and then we will see what Matt's hair looks like. We are reunited, hair is done, nails, nails are done and we can now go to Obor market the biggest market actually in the country not just Bucharest. Apparently it sells everything absolutely anything you want to find but we are predominantly going there <laughs> for some food our last bit of traditional oh, no. Romanian food. the market so there's actually loads of different sections in here you've got bits outside you've got bits undercover and then you've got some in the building this is in the big building and it is so I don't, cool. know, where I don't know where to start I don't know what to get we're getting food we're getting clothes we could, we could get everything well here. we definitely need souvenirs like magnets and stuff as we always get one in every country that we go to and then basically we can get whatever else takes our fancy for some reason they really did not like the camera in there so we've come to the outside of the market this market's huge you've got so many areas to check out and this is the outside like fresh produce area if you want your fruit and veg this is definitely the place to come it's so cool all of the fruit and veg stalls have the region that the fruit comes from so we got some cherries and these are from the rancher oh, they look region. so fresh they do mm. sour pip got a bit of pip out mm, no they are so so fresh wow it's like mouth-wateringly good thank you so we are now trying the cheeses what cheese is this there Borduf. Borduf. and what we it's like cow it's actually aged in cow's stomach oh so this is aged in a cow's <laughs> stomach okay oh that's good it's creamy it's really really creamy it's aged bit, in a cow's stomach i've never heard it's that it's aged before. well in that cow's stomach it's creamy it's salty it melts in your mouth it falls back out your mouth that's a really good cheese it's the pork crackling right is this, this is a fat nice doesn't look like pork crackling that we have no it's very different because it's just more fat a little bit piece of skin uh, on it and some meat. Did you just say that was your guilty pleasure? Yeah, that is. So I'll get some. She said you can you can choose oh. no half a kilo I think. 
Choose one and taste it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta oh. taste it. Okay. It you have to taste. I'm Try before used you to buy. This. Try before you buy. Right. I didn't go for a mutant strawberry. Mmm. That's a real good strawberry. It's so so sweet. Look at this, right? How cool is this? This is called the Terraza Obor. So it's the Obor Terrace and it is the place to come when you come to Obor Market. So once you've done all your shopping, you can go and sit in there. You can even hear the music. You can get some Mitch. Get some and you beers. you try it with beer. Like what the hell, what a concept. How cool is this place? This is so cool. So we've got our Mitch stand here. You grab your Mitch and then you go here and you grab your beer. I think we're gonna get three Mitch each and I'm running over to the beer stand. Mitch in hand. Oh, Look at this. Oh, he put so much them. mustard on it. it. Smells so good. Thank you, thank you. Give me a third. 70p a beer. Vlad has just taught me how to eat a Mitch. You put two toothpicks in and you eat it like this and then just bite it. Just yeah, bite it. The thing is, you need to put the toothpicks in an angle. Ah. Um, so one, oh my god, how good finger. is it? Wow. Look at how fresh that is. It's so wow. sweet. It's almost caramelized on the outside, you know. And for three each and a piece of bread with your mustard, it comes to nine lev per person. And how much were the beers here? Beers are four lay. Four lay, so wow. 70 p. Wow. Yes. No rock. No rock. No rock. To our last. To our last. Romanian beer. Mitch. And Mitch. Together. I'm gonna taste the beer first. What was it that's on draft? I didn't actually see. I think it was skull. 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 This is it. Original. Yeah. So. Where's skull from? Mm. Oh, it's Romanian. That's yeah. good. It's All a right. nice beer. It's Bucharest. I'm getting my toothpicks. There's a factory in Bucharest. I'm going to probably do this wrong, but then let's try to see. No, you got to put them in an angle. Oh, oh that's oh, terrible. That's really bad. All right, it's so good with the mustard. Here we go. And he definitely put so much mustard on there, didn't he? No, oh, that's wow. how you need to. You need oh. all the mustard. Wow. Freshly mm. baked. It is perfect. It's char grilled to perfection. It's soft in the middle. And you it haven't even tried it on the bread yet. In your mouth. Oh, I need to try it on the bread. I need to get another bite. Try it on the bread. That is the best Mitch I've had. Possibly the best. Best you can get in the country, maybe here. One of my favorites, definitely. Oh my God. And it's the freshest, the localist. You're not going to get any more local than this. If you go to a restaurant, they might fancy it up a little bit. This is this is the how proper it's way. To be. This is a Mitch experience. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Narok with your Mitch. Narok. Narok. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking us to the best Mitch. What do you think? Oh wow. Best Mitch. Thank you, Mr. Mess, Mr. Mean. Thank you so much. See, they're so friendly here. This is the spot for Mitch. Look, Mitch, beer, next to each other. You can get a meal, so three Mitch, piece of bread, pint of beer, for probably like two pounds, three dollars, something like that. It is unbelievable. Possibly the best meal you can get and the cheapest one you can get. If you come here earlier in the day, there's gonna be a queue outside the market for people queuing up to get their Mitch. From the market, and I'm actually quite full. That I'm was tired. Yeah, Mitch, Beer and Mitch makes you tired. Beer makes you tired unless you carry on drinking. But we have just checked into the Marriott Courtyard. It's actually closer to the airport because it is our last night. Oh, how sad. This is like the perfect airport business hotel, I would say. It is, yeah, because you're not so close to the airport, but you are very, very close, we're closer than the town business anyway. District. We we're feeling fancy tonight. So this is the courtyard by Marriott, and we have hang on. Bed test. Bed test straight away. Oh, oh that looked nice. Oh my god. That looked nice. I feel like a marshmallow. Sometimes you've got to like, you <laughs> hurt like yourself and pretend no, but that, that really was, good. And the duvet is so plush. So it has a very similar to the Moxie. The air coin is exactly the same, but the decor is slightly different. We have some traditional plates over there. We've got some really nice lights. You have a great view of the business district and the park right in front of us. We have a big telly, that's something huge I've noticed. Telly. Moxie and this hotel have huge tellies. And then yeah, Moxie is like the, the sister, the sister of the yeah, Marriott. The it's like a sister company. Owned by the Marriott. same brand anyway. Yeah. And then we have the nicest bathroom. It's massive. Like it's really, really it's nice. It's perfect. I think with Marriott's you know what you get or you hope you know what you get and you definitely get it here. There's the same level of standard throughout, but all I know is after that Mitch, I 
I could do with laying down in bed. I can't believe how nice this bedroom is. I'm so excited for my bed, even though it's gonna be a very short sleep. Being that we're in the business district, I found like a cool rooftop bar stroke restaurant type thing that is only a two minute walk from the Marriott. And being that our flight is at seven in the morning, I don't really think we're gonna get much sleep. So we're gonna have to get up at like 3.30, 4 a.m. So I think we're gonna head to the rooftop bar and say our goodbyes to Vlad and Georgiana. I can't believe we're saying goodbye. And we are out. Our hotel is right there. And we are heading somewhere. Up there. No, no. And just like that, our time in Romania has come to the end. It is 5 a.m. We are at Bucharest Airport, ready to leave, but we didn't get in till one o'clock in the morning. We spent our evening and night and early morning in Nor Sky Bar, which is actually really, really nice with Vlad and Georgiana. We couldn't, we couldn't leave without one last beer with Vlad and Georgiana. Honestly, they smashed it out of the park. If you want a bespoke tour in Romania, Romanian thrills are the ones for you. Honestly, it was so good, so much fun. It, I don't know what we expected, but it certainly wasn't mm -hmm. that. That like they they took our interests and made it into the most perfect trip that we have ever had. It was so good, but they went above and beyond from Brasov to Sibiu to the. What about me and the buggy? Off the roading. Buggy. Oh my god! And they made sure that we had loads of traditional food. Obviously. We found our new love for Papanash. Oh my God, Papanash. I had my last Papanash last night. Officially the last. Mm. Mm. Papanash. I miss it. I think, <laughs> I'm sure we'll be back for a series two. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. Let's hope we can come back, film some more in this amazing country. There's so much more to see. We've only scratched the surface in Transylvania. We've been here, what, we really two have. weeks? Yeah. Eight day road trips, and scratched actually, the surface. This is the shortest amount of time that we've been in a country. Recently, recently. with COVID mm. travel, two weeks is probably the shortest we've been at the moment. We've like been slow traveling, but our time has come to an end. We're moving on. We hope that you have enjoyed this series and we're very excited to take you somewhere new. Um, yeah, in the world. We're not <laughs> going to tell you where yet. We don't even know where yet. So we will see you somewhere around the world very, very soon.